This is another SciTech Report, brought to you by Intel. I've been interested in robots uh, ever since I really saw the first robot. I started building robots when I was 12 years old, and when I saw the first Hexapod, I was in middle school, I, I saw a Hexapod in a book, and from the minute I saw it, I knew I, I wanted to build one of these. And it wasn't until I took a cognitive robotics class here at the University of Arizona, and at that time I actually had, had a good excuse to, to spend a lot of time on working on a Hexapod. I'm able to, to make very complex parts using something called a 3D printer made by uh, Dimension. And the way this works is it actually extrudes layer by layer uh, small, small amounts of plastic. And there are two kinds of plastic. There's a support material and a actual model material. And the support material kind of holds like overhanging structures so you can really print any complicated shape that you want. Before the 3D printer, uh, people had to use things like CNC machines, and those you're very limited on. You can only uh, remove so much material out of, a, out of a chunk. But with a 3D printer, you're really able to make any sort of shape that you want. When I originally started uh, building the Hexapod project, it was part of a class project and I wanted to find a very powerful processor and one that also used very little power and also at the same time needed to be in a very small form factor. So I looked around and I found, I found some other I found some motherboards, very small motherboards in a Pico ITX form factor, but these did not have the performance that I was looking for. I, I was looking to use the Open Computer Vision, Open CV libraries. So around the same time in June, I found this FitPC2, which, which uses a, an Intel Atom Z530 1.6 gigahertz processor, and it incorporates hyperthreading. And this completely blew away the other things that I was trying to implement. This has been another SciTech Report, brought to you by Intel. For more information, visit technewsarizona.com.